All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. And today is my five year anniversary of joining the United States Navy. So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, just the process that led to me joining the Navy as well as, you know, what the future holds for the old Andy Son. So, um, on June 24th, 2010, uh, I joined the United States Navy officially. And, you know, I went off to boot camp and uh, did stuff like that. So, um, just give you guys a little background. Uh, for those of you who don't know what my life was like, you know, pre-Navy and stuff. I got kicked out of college back in 2007 and was just kind of drifting from job to job. Just trying to stay afloat and try to find some stable work so I could uh, live on my own and you know, recoup and just try to, you know, get my shit together basically. And you know, at the time, the United States was facing a, a huge economic downturn. So it was very difficult to find work during that time and it just got to the point where I had to move back in with my folks and I was constantly looking for jobs and I just couldn't find anything at all, just anywhere. It's terrible. During the winter of 2009, my mom, you know, presented me with the choice of, you know, either you join the military or you're getting out of my house. And at the time I didn't have anywhere else to stay, so I'm like, yeah, why not? <laughs> you know, with, with, with a lot of hesitation of, you know, joining and stuff, because, you know, I didn't, you know, really want to join initially. But once I looked at all the benefits and, you know, the prospect of being able to go back to college again and stuff like that, and to be able to eventually come out to Japan, which, you know, happened sooner rather than later, <laughs> funny enough. Um, I decided to join, so I um, was really nervous about it. Um, the only people that I knew that were in the military were my cousins, but you know a lot of them joined the, the military a while ago, so like they don't really they didn't really know how you know the current military works versus how their military worked back then. So I mean I got a lot of good basic information out of them, but you know it's <laughs> most of the stuff I just learned as I went along. On June 24th, 2010, officially joined, went to boot camp, all that stuff. Um, it was only really hard for like the first couple weeks just because it was, you know, a huge culture shock. But after a while, you know, I kind of got used to things and just blended in with everybody. So, you know, none of the RDCs decided to, you know, beat me or anything like that. So, just blended in real nice. So, after that, I went to, uh, uh, Great Lakes on the other side of the house after I graduated boot camp uh, went to ATT which is essentially like a basic electronics course so I was in, in Great Lakes for about you know three months I'd say give or take and uh, it was a lot of fun it was still fairly close to home so my uh, folks could come visit and uh, so they'd come visit me and we'd go off to Chicago and stuff like that and you know, it was a lot of fun but then, on um, Thanksgiving of 2010, I moved out to uh, San Diego to start my training for STGA school. I was out at the schoolhouse for a while because there was a lot of schooling that I went through, so I had to stay out there a bit longer than uh, most other people. So, um, I eventually left in May of 2012, so I, w I was out there for like a good minute. Um, so in May 2012, I uh, received orders to my very first ship, the USS Kurtz, FFG 38, 38 Special. <laughs> uh, so I only got orders long enough to pretty much go on her uh, twilight deployment, her last deployment, doing some drug ops, things like that down in Central America, and then headed back to San Diego after six months to decommission the ship. And then I went back to uh, school in San Diego, but it was only for uh, about two, three months-ish. Not very good with dates. <laughs> so I was, I was only there for a couple months. And then from there, I uh, went out here to lovely Yokosuka, Japan, where I got stationed on board the USS Lassen. And from there, we went on several underways, you know, doing a lot of different stuff throughout Southeast Asia and things like that. And I've seen so many different uh, countries, seen so many different cultures, and. Not only did I get to visit those countries, but I get to live in a foreign country. <laughs> Got my own place and everything, so it was a pretty sweet deal. You know, a couple months ago, um, I got, you know, the word that I was getting ad because of my weight and decided, you know, I'm just gonna 
put my best foot forward in dealing with it and you know see this more as as an opportunity rather than a downfall so um it is what it is and yes when i do get out i am going to be working on losing this shit so <laughs> so yeah um and i'm even working on it now you know i'm just you know i'm not eating out nearly as much as i used to you know i'm staying home eating food stuff like that hopefully you know when i get back to college i'll be losing that freshman 15 rather than gaining it right so <laughs> Like I said, I decided to take it on as a, as a new chapter in my life. Um, it's very stressful. I'm, I'm very nervous about the whole thing, but I'm also really excited because, you know, it's, it's what I've been working for since I joined, basically, you know, five years ago. <laughs> so it's the, kind of the culmination of all of that and just being able to go back to school. And then from, it, from there, whatever else. I, I don't have anything you know, concrete plan for when I'm done with school, you know, other than just get a job, I guess. <laughs> but there's a lot of job opportunities out there for veterans, so I, I shouldn't be too hard up for job opportunities, but um, as of this recording, I'm not pursuing anything at the moment, but, you know, I, I want to focus more on school, and then when, you know, the time comes, then I'll focus more on jobs and things like that. So that way, my focus isn't on finding a job and it's more on school so that's just kind of how my brain operates in a couple months I'm gonna be uh, going back to uh, Ohio to stay with the folks for a little bit while I get my uh, new place uh, worked out up in Kalamazoo Michigan where I'm gonna be going to school so I'm gonna be going to Western Michigan University out of Kalamazoo Michigan so if you're looking at the hand it's about here-ish somewhere. <laughs> I didn't mean to flip you off there, but it's about here-ish. So I'll, I'll be going there, you know, getting my four-year degree in uh, comp uh, computer information systems. So it's basically like a uh, business meets computers degree. So it's like a half business degree, half computer science degree. It just, you know, I, I enjoyed it. You know, it's a lot less, you know, math intensive. You know, I like programming and stuff like that, but if I were to stick with like a computer science degree, it'd be a lot more math than I'm comfortable with, so I'd prefer to have a little less math and a little more programming stuff. So it'll be interesting getting back into it. You know, I haven't been in college in uh, almost 10 years now, so um, like I said, I'm really nervous, but I'm also really excited to be going back. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just been a, a crazy wild ride so far. You know, my time in the Navy and my time's almost up. So <laughs> it's kind of funny how things work out, I guess. But, you know, I just wanted to make this video, let you guys know I do have a plan post Navy. And yes, I'm going to be continuing to make videos post Navy, you know, about my college life and other things. You know, I'm also going to be, you know, focusing on my other channels as well, my Andy K channel, which is my Let's Play channel. And I'm also going to be getting on. Uh, I'm also going to be getting on Twitch very soon. Um, I've done a couple test streams on it, but uh, as of this recording, I don't have a proper uh, streaming setup. My laptop isn't really cooperative with Twitch streams. So I'm going to get myself a proper desktop so I can uh, do the Twitch thing proper. So stay tuned for that. In closing of this video, uh, before the camera explodes due to the high temperature, <laughs> Um, I wanted to ask you guys a question. So this is my 199th vlog, and, and uh, my, for my 200th vlog, I wanted to uh, make it something very special. So I'm opening up the floor to you guys. I'm asking you guys for questions for a Q&A. So um, <clears throat> if you guys have any questions about, you know, whatever it is I do, you know, what's my video set setup, what's my camera, why'd you want to join the Navy, why'd you want to come out of Japan? whatever you know feel free to uh, leave some comments questions in the boopity boops down below and uh, before my camera explodes i'll sign off so yeah this is the andy san sign for now thanking you guys for uh continuing to support me through my five years in the navy and here's to many more post navy and uh, for watching my other stuff as well also want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.